I'm the real Howard Yates for speaking in drums, and today on the Stick Shift segment, we're going to be testing out the Danny Carey signature model sticks from Vic Firth. <laughs> Today, we're taking the Danny Carey signature drumsticks from Vic Firth for a test drive here on Speaking in Drums. <laughs> and then the cops showed up. Triangle, my favorite oxymoron. Rhythm guitarist. Here's Danny Carey! How much is it and where can I get it? Well, as far as the price on this, I've seen it range from $10.49 to $11.49, averaging out to $11, roughly. Uh, you can get this at anywhere fine Vic Firth sticks are sold. So it's either Amazon, Sweetwater, Guitar Center. Some things you may read about when you look up in any information about Danny Carey's drumsticks um, would be pretty much the same verbiage. It says, for instance, in one review that I found, a truly unique stick features a cut-in design at the gripping area for comfort and a tapered butt end for improved balance in wood or nylon tip. Well, if you haven't guessed, I have a guest with me right now. <laughs> this is my dog, Mika, who has decided that every time I record a segment, uh, she has to be involved in it as well. So uh, here she is. She's going to sit in with us for just a moment and or move around a little bit. So are you, are you getting comfy? Are you comfy there? Comfy. Okay, she's comfy, I think. These sticks are truly unique. There are no other sticks like them out there on the market. In fact, <laughs> I'm going to go over the stats with you, give it some comparisons, and then we're going to take it for a test drive. And as predicted, Mika got bored and took off. Or is it around here somewhere? Oh, there you are. Oh, she's just laying down over there looking carpet. Okay. All right, that's what this dog does, apparently. The most notable point about this particular drumstick isn't the length or the weight of the stick, which is fairly heavy, but the fact that it has this unique curve that happens right here that is actually perfect for the fulcrum point when you hold the drumstick. So when you have that, you've got your thumb pad on the other side, opposite of the middle pad here in your index finger. Fulcrum meets, and you can wrap your fingers around it just like that. It's perfect. It's perfectly designed. This little notch that's cut out, this fulcrum point, is like the center of everything that's going to be done with your grip on this drumstick. Another thing that's cool about it is the fact that you can do this in that same spot. So here we have this little notch, perfectly sits in there for traditional grip, right in there. This is going to sound really weird and nerdy or whatever, but I have done some discovery with this that I think may not have been intentional with the design of this stick in this particular area that I've just focused on. But while I was working on this, I, you know, I've showed you the match grip, I've showed you the traditional grip. But that same little notch right there for the fulcrum point, if you do the Dave Weckl traditional grip where he has just a little bit of the butt end of the stick sticking out, if you set it that way, the fulcrum point will actually rest right on your ring finger where when you're using a traditional grip, the stick should actually rest. So if that works in my hand anyways. I don't know if it'll work for you or not. And the last thing that I found with this stick is that if you're trying to do cross stick, for example, that same notch, that fulcrum point, is where you're going to have your index finger and thumb holding the stick when you need to play cross stick on the snare drum. So in comparison, the Danny Carey drumsticks are very much like the Extreme 5B models from Vic Firth. There's not a lot of difference in them. What they do have in common, they're 16 and a half inches in length. They do have the teardrop tip shape here, which comes in wood or nylon. They're both hickory. They have the same lacquer finish. Some of the differences, though, with the extremes is that they have not only the lacquer finish, but they also have this uh, slip-resistant coating called Vic Grip, which this stick does not have that. Uh, also, this has a short taper. You have the really cool short tapered butt end here the little notch that's carved out you know for that perfect grip and which you can do traditional 
Dave Weichold traditional. <laughs> or you can do cross stick as well. And it's all wonderful because this is the focal point of the whole thing. These are the tools for the test drive. These are the tools I recommend when trying out brand new drumsticks for the very first time. You're going to need earplugs to protect your hearing, safety glasses or goggles, sweatbands because you're going to sweat, and of course drumsticks. I would normally recommend using two of them. And now, it's time for the Circle of Fists. <laughs> these are the Danny Carey Signature Drumsticks from Vic Firth. And I've had these sticks for a number of years, did nothing with them. Kept them in a box, dug them out recently and thought, why don't I just do a video on it, right? This stick is unlike any other on the market because of its unique design. But the design itself is ingenious. I didn't have any fatigue. I played Eulogy 800 times this afternoon, I'm not kidding, and I didn't have lactic acid building up. I didn't have to massage this every time I did a take because it was just too strenuous or anything like that. It is a medium to heavy stick, a little bit heavier than your standard 5B models, but uh, it's more of a modified or perhaps a perfected version of the extreme 5Bs. Got this tapered butt end here, got the fulcrum notch that's cut out. You can do all those different grips with it. Uh, you've got the short tapered end here, hickory, lacquer finish, 11 bucks. You can get this pretty much at any place where fine Vic Firth products are sold. Uh, Sweetwater Guitar Center, Amazon.com, you know the whole thing. Those sticks, hey, they're pretty big. Danny Carey's a big man. If you've ever seen Tool perform live, uh, the band comes out at the end. It's like Close Encounters. The little aliens come out first. And then all of a sudden, Danny comes out from behind the drums. And you don't realize how big this guy is. All of a sudden, it's like Bigfoot showing up. It's like, oh my god, it's Danny Carey! And then, you know, you get the rest of the band up front. At the end of Close Encounters, little aliens. And it's like the, the big praying mantis when they suddenly show up. It's like... <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this stick shift segment of Speaking in Drums featuring the Danny Carey signature drumsticks from Vic Firth. I'm the real Howard Yates for Speaking in Drums, and remember to like, subscribe, comment, tell all your friends. I will see you later. Bye. So if you haven't uh, seen this already, I have... today on Speaking in Drums, I'm going to be test driving a couple of telephone poles from the... <laughs> Jesus, that guy's tall. I heard he's six foot twelve. <laughs> Imagine trying to play basketball against that guy. <laughs> Fuck it. Danny Carey don't like and kiss my ass. <laughs> oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, son. What? <laughs> Shut up! What the fuck? Holy shit.